Welcome. Hey. Welcome. Hello. To the Guitar Hour. Live from Laney HQ. How pretty is this? How amazing. Spot, amazing. Yeah. Welcome one and all. Uh, cheers, thanks for joining us. Sorry we've not been around for a few weeks. We've been very, very busy. Um, I want to say something before we start. There is enough technology powering this stream to launch us to the moon and back and probably even to a different galaxy. So, <laughs> if the stream At pauses, least. if there's sound issues, if you can hear a little bit of um, delay, not, not as in delayed, but as in some echoes on the vocals, we, we've set up an insane stream here for you guys, so there's going to be a few issues. And for some reason, the stream, we're using OBS, and for some reason, the stream keeps pausing every few seconds. The last three streams, it's been doing it, and they, we need an OBS update, but it's not. I don't know why. So, we know about it. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Let us know in the chat if the vocals are loud enough. I guarantee to you the amps will be because <laughs> we've, we've turned up. Yeah. Them. It's getting um, loud at Our nearest neighbours are probably about... On the moon can hear us. <laughs> so it's all about the moon. Um, as usual, I'm joined by Dave Bronze, David Dave. Beebe. And then... Um, um, <laughs> Dan Smith. Um, I forgot his um, name earlier on. Terrible. I've known him for years. I forgot his name. You know I've got a thing about being forgettable. I told you this. Oh, no. I, I triggered I told him. you that story, right? Mm -hmm. No. I was playing a gig and uh, I was speaking to the photographer at half time <laughs> about cameras yeah. and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, so do you, you know, do this as your job? He's like, yeah. And then he goes, so what do you do? I was like, <laughs> you've just been taking photographs of me for one hour. I'm in, <laughs> look, there I am, in your thing. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry I triggered you. Anyway, vocals are fine. I'll Some people here. are saying there's a delay. Some people are saying the vocals are fine. If you have got a delay on the vocals, try refreshing the stream. That might help. Um, we tested all of this earlier on, there were no issues whatsoever, so there shouldn't be a delay on the vocals. But keep us, keep us informed on that, guys. If you've the, got a delay, try refreshing. There is a bit of an echo, and what that is, it's the microphones that are miking up the amps, picking up, uh, and we're putting some delay on after the amps, and that's it's picking up our voices. So when you say a major delay, guys, what do you mean? Do you mean like it's out of sync to the video, or shouldn't there's an echo? Shouldn't be out of sync. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be out of sync at all. Cool. It might freeze every now and again, but it shouldn't be out of sync. Um, okay, there you go. Okay, that's the disclaimers Bedwood. out of the way. Let me, let me just play <laughs> yeah. a little bit of guitar and tell me if that's in sync as well, guys. So, um, see if this is in sync. <laughs> So guys, let us know if that's in sync, not an echo, there's a voice sync issue. Okay, some people are saying it's fine. Guys, just post in the chat, refresh the page, stream drop, well that's, if your stream's dropping you need faster internet. Uh, that's bizarre. McDonald's Wi-Fi. We've got 100 megabit internet here, so that's bizarre. Hmm. Um, sorry, I'm going to move. Here's <coughs> sound, then your lips move. Ha. Huh. Hold on a second. That is bizarre. I may have to start the stream again. What? Oh. That should be all right. That's better. We didn't do anything. What did you do? Nothing. <laughs> so got the, the Wi-Fi bouncing off Ben's <laughs> tash. <laughs> in like little this is the You're issue. trying to get a debate started, aren't you? <laughs> what, is, is it all, now it seems in sync. Ooh. All right, anyway, should, should, should we get on with continue. the show? Let's Can we do the continue. whole thing like... It's fine on there. It's fine. Like, like You're we're on dumped. YouTube. Guys, if, it's, if it Twitch. wasn't in sync, you need to refresh, because apparently now is and Fen's watching it live and it's fine. Refresh your, refresh your page. Yeah, it's Fen's, so, Fen's here and he's not even watching this, he's watching it on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> like, Classic like behavior. How, That's how 21st yeah. century yeah. is that? The, the freezing <laughs> is going to happen because o the latest version of OBS that's installed In fact, has this weird issue where it freezes. Fen and should like, I can do about it. live stream it. Like to you to now from like hold your phone up and watch us and we're live stream and like streamception. Yeah. Streamception. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully it sounds all right, guys. So the reason we're here, <laughs> yeah, yeah, is what? because we thought we'd do a comparison of all of Laney's one by twelve combos because I guess a one by twelve combo is the most classic kind of uh, the, the, the combo that most people own because A, it's kind of useful in your house, in your bedroom, it's good in the studio, you can mic it up. And most of these... It's the, work, the working man's amp. Uh, the working man's amp. They're loud yeah, enough yeah. to kind of use on a gig as well. In fact, all of the amps that we've got Not. here are loud enough. We also have a world exclusive, Dave. Uh, I am playing the GH30R. First and time. We have two cameras set up. Let's hope this works, because I managed to destroy an HDMI cable earlier on and was rescued by the crew at Laney. So we have two cameras, nice. so we'll switch to the other camera, we can do some close-ups for you. And again, for those just joining us, guys, apologies if there's any little crackles here and there, apologies if the stream freezes a little bit. 
We're running so much tech here, it's insane. We have never done a stream this technical before, so I hope it all works. And it's on location. And it's, it's on location. location. Yeah. What, are we mad? Are we mad? So, so let's talk about done. Um, a little we bit of anyway. news. We did it anyway. Yeah. News. And then we'll get on with the show, basically. So, Dan, what have you been up to? Uh, I have been gigging in Paris. Yeah. Gigging in Paris. That was it. You've been gigging yeah. in Paris. Yeah. So what, what no, no, I, I, was, I was in uh, uh, did a little do French do tour do with the Swing Commanders. So I think it was, I think it was eight days. I think it was kind of nice. gigging in England and then driving over and then one gig in one place, driving to Paris, doing four days, driving somewhere else in France, doing a gig, driving back and then doing a gig the next day in England. Um, I'm doing it again in. The middle of August, I think. Wow. Um, yeah, sort of, yeah, middle, middle ish of August. Cool. So I was in the Cavo de la Hochette, which oh. is in La La Land oh. for 1 minute 30 seconds. I love it, oh, really? La La Land fans. Yeah. I've never and, seen it, I don't plan on seeing it. Imagine this <laughs> you're in this tiny little, what, like this sort of prestigious little jazz club in France, which is like a I wine think you cellar. Said prostitute jazz club. <laughs> no, no, it's not that prestigious. Nice. I believe it's prestigious. It's quite a famous, famous jazz club. Okay. And uh, so it's in La La Land, and La La Land, the film, is massive in Korea, apparently. Really? So I'm gigging in France in this little jazz club, and there's just loads of Koreans everywhere. Wow. Like, loving it. Awesome. Best, best audience. If Amazing. you can play in Korea. Do you know what? Yeah. Speaking of well, that, that's so a nice segue, isn't it? Yeah, because exactly. what have you been up to, Tom? Oh. I've been playing in Southeast Asia for the well last week, and I did a trip, a tour for these guys for Laney, and played in uh, Bangkok, in Singapore and Manila. And man, the audiences! Yeah, incredible. You've played out there. I've right? played in Singapore, and it's yeah, just unbelievable. Like super it's like, attentive, like any little thing, like they just love on it. On it, like just music in general, detailed music as well. I mean, yeah. it's kind of a thing. Like you, you see, I think you see the same thing in Japan. Yeah, just well, the crazy thank thing you is, guys for being. You, some of you guys will watch this. Thank you so much for being an incredible audience yeah, in all three places. Just unbelievable. The thing like we're known in Asia, the bronze. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no one well, else yeah. knows me People on my street. <laughs> some of them, one of them watched it live, and it was four a.m. for him. So he was like, "Oh, oh, watch it live. oh committed." Wow. Fact, he might be around later on. Let's, see, well. let's see if how committed he is. Do you know his let's name? He, you know. he didn't tell me what his username ah. was. So let's see if it, let's see if Man. he uh, comes on live. Tom tour the world, I would love to. Um, so, let's get on with the show. So the reason we are here, as I say, is to kind of give you guys a rundown of the four, four, uh, four by 12, the four one by 12 <laughs> combos that Laney do. So the deal is I am playing through the Cub 12, which is a one by 12, highly affordable. It's like two, just over, what was it, Fen, 200? 284. 284 pounds, British pounds, so I don't know what that is in dollars. Um, really amazing, all tube. <laughs> combo very good value for money kind of covers kind of the, the the kind of ground between as you'll find the ground between the Lionheart which BB is playing through and the GH 30 because this is a world exclusive first time you'll see this especially on a live stream we'll do some close-ups for the other camera. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. all the amps later on um, first time you'll hear this so that the cub kind of sits in between those two and what we're going to talk about most I mean you guys kind of introduce a little bit what you're playing through if you want to I can do that for you if you want um, we're going to show you the range of sounds that you can get, starting with the Lionheart, which is kind of the classic clean to blues territory, but also can do the classic rock thing as well. And takes, as BB will demonstrate, takes pedals obscenely well. This is actually BB's like type of choice, so yeah, uh, really cool. Dave is playing through this GH30R, as we yeah. say, um, which is like the, G the smaller brother of the GH50, which is an incredible amplifier. This thing sounds incredible. So it's a 1x12 version of that amp, because that was a 2x12. And Dave right, yeah. loves the GH50R. I do. And Dan is playing through an appropriate uh, <laughs> yeah. beast. <laughs> Dan, the most metal of us all, <laughs> is playing through the Ironheart 1x12, which is a 6L6 power tube, kind of super heavy hitting, loads of bottom end, four channels. Uh, well, three channels in this case, actually. You've got clean, you've got crunch, and you've got your lead channel. Um, and yeah, it sounds incredible. Dan actually, because it's Dan, just sounds like Dan through it as you're laser on. <laughs> But maybe we can persuade him to play just some power chords for you. But we'll see. You know, he's just a closet metalhead. <laughs> yeah. he, was, he was whipping out some He was some playing Malmsteen in, in, in Wiggy Malmsteen licks earlier. I'll so just why don't we just start, circa before 2000. we say anything about the amps, why don't we just do some playing? Yeah. yeah so yeah. I've got some backing tracks yeah, yeah. loaded up here, guys. Um, what's this? Why is Bronze barefoot? Um, he's always barefoot. Sorry. He, lives, he essentially lives in the wild and he just yeah. comes out the wild to do the it's guitar. Like the, uh, the, uh, is it Abbey Road? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I do spend alive, most of my life with my shoes off, actually. All right, guys, so let's yeah. play over this, um, this Andy Timmons style thing. 
and just briefly say what you, how you've got your amp set up. So Dan, what, what channel are you using? Um, I, uh, well, I'm just going between clean and sort of full shred. But oh, you're switching. I, well, yeah, Depending clean on if I really want to be clean, but ten, I'm kind of... Remember, you can't speak and play at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, Come on. I've broken the first rule. First rule of guitar. We've got a very sophisticated setup where the, don't the, feed bronzy after midnight. Because, because the amps will clip our lapel <laughs> mics. When we play, the lapel mics are ducked, so it's kind of like... If you, if you see our voice, our mouth's moving, but you can't hear us, that's why. So <laughs> I've, I've clean, full shred. Clean if I really want clean, obviously. Full shred and then just giving it the... What is it that uh, <laughs> Simon says? He does it. <laughs> No, I mean that sounds really strange. Simon says that's not that that's not the game. You know, Simon says. Simon, yeah, not Simon, you know the game, Simon. Simon. No, he means the game. Simon says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on from that. <laughs> okay. 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 Phoebe, have you got your setup? Uh, well, I'm using it how I love. I mean, as Tom was saying, like the Laney five watt uh, Lionheart is incredible if you take the clean channel and you just turn it all the way up. So essentially, I have it running on ten. <laughs> and it sounds phenomenal. So I'm using that for the bass tone, and then for the drive um, to really kick it over, I've got the dual fusion as normal. Yep, the dual um, flute fluxion. 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 Okay, as usual for the guitar hour, I'm going in just straight into the amp, and uh, this is a real... <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, Dave, you're so uh, close to the edge there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> It's a classic rock, rock, rock amp, and I have it set up the way I like it, which is if I want clean, I just dial back the did volume. Did invent a genre, rap rock? A rap, no, classic. That exists already. Did, <laughs> I think he did invent that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, back in the day. Right. Oh, man. Okay, anyway, so anyway, so classic rock. So if to get cleaner tone, I'm just going to pick lighter yep. and uh, back the volume off because this amp is super responsive to how hard you play it, which is something I love. Okay, so I've got the cub set up with the gain halfway and the volume halfway, and actually it's fairly clean. If I go to the bridge pickup and roll my volume all the way up, and then engage the dual fusion to boost, oh. so there's not actually that, well, there's a little bit of drive on there. Engage what? the dual fusion, imagine <laughs> them this big. <laughs> you get a full on lead tone saturated, so, um, and actually there's a surprising amount of bottom end from this amplifier, considering how small it is. So, let's play over this in the key of E, guys. Ah, oh, we're, we're all on punk IPA, by oh, the way. God. How yeah, could you forget that? Forgot. Okay, who Cheers, guys. Shall I start? Yeah, go on. Yeah, Chief.
nice back Let's do that track. one more time. I'm sure we've done it before, haven't we? Ah. <laughs> Apologies for that intro. <laughs> So nice to be able to play loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we are. What's the uh, gig volume in here, pretty much? Pretty, not, pretty quite, not quite. Yeah, not I feel far like all our wives have gone out. So they don't, they don't have a wife, but so. I feel mine probably can hear me, even though she's about 200 miles away. Yeah, yeah it's very cool, isn't it, to be able to play this loud. It's, it's really cool. Um, so let's start by going through some of the amps. So I think what we'll do is, if it's all right, we'll start with Mr. BB because. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab the camera. Let me just check something really quickly. While you guys. do that, shall I talk about 
introduce it and yeah. yeah let me just check something so um there you go nice shot of bb's feet oh, oh. Have got matching socks on <laughs> i think i have you now. <laughs> yeah don't get a close up on bronze's feet <laughs> have you shaved your toes okay Never. so i can't remember what i've done as my key commands here <laughs> bronze's just dropped a truth bomb oh, yeah. <laughs> so um i have a feeling that what did i set up as um Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So, okay, guys, I'm going to move to the other camera. I just need to check that you guys can can still hear me, which, in theory, you can. Right. There's BB's feet. BB's what you always dancing. wanted to see. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to move this camera around, which was very thankfully rescued by the guys here at Laney because I snapped the HDMI cable. Uh, and also, there's about a billion cables kicking around here, so I'm probably more. going to pull my lapel mic off. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Let's grab this camera and show these guys the lion heart. And it might be a little bit out of focus till I ought to Let's watch, watch that be a can. Be a can. Watch that be a can. Okay, so this is the amp that Mr. BB is playing through. This is the Laney Lionheart L5. Yeah. There's a 20 watt combo as well, which is the one I use. It's a 2 by 12 but this is the 1 by 12 um, It's mic'd up with an SM57, as all the amps are. Now, the idea behind this amplifier, there is Mr. BB. This is beautiful erotic. It's actually called an erotic, Fibonacci erotic. Yeah. Hello, Mr. BB. No, just getting it. Hello. No. Um, so the idea with this, can I get closer without killing my lapel mic? Yes. What am yeah. I doing? I think yeah, you've yeah. got some room. Oh, you've got some slack. You've got some slack. Okay, so the idea with this amp is basically it is a two channel amplifier. And you've got a clean channel and you've got a, a kind of drive channel. But the drive channel is basically like a bluesy kind of channel. So if we start with the clean. Yeah, yeah. This amp is 12 inches and it's EL84s in the power stage, yeah. EL84s, um, and it's loud. For a just on the edge of the way I like to run this as I was saying earlier is to basically take the clean channel and if it's because it's the 5 volt version you can do this and it sounds amazing it's to just turn it all the way up probably does the amp no probably doesn't the amp any good don't worry about that. Just turn but it, it sounds amazing so well it's already pretty much all the way up so I don't have the dual fusion on no, this and is the one you own, baby. I, I, well I own one of the original old ones um, that probably needs a revalve now but it still sounds amazing um, <laughs> Just a, I have to I have to remember not to play and speak at the same time. So uh, yeah, it's just on the, that sort of edge of breakup. And if it was at ten, it would be really nice, sort of mildly overdriving tone. And the amazing thing uh, is that that kind of still maintains the same. Uh, characteristics even with the drive channel on, oh, sorry, even with the drive pedal on. So I'm just going to switch the bright switch on. Yeah, yeah. So keep playing. I really do this, but. Um. coming from Studio One, not from the amplifier or from the pedal board. Um, can we try the drive channel? Yes. I'm doing some horrible, well not horrible, you don't look horrible. No, I do, I just, re I just saw it on the monitor down Sorry there. I've got my, uh... Okay, let's switch to the drive channel, so, oh. Why is that not engaged? No, because you need to do it from the foot switch. you've got the foot switch on, so you need to put that, and then that's it. That's it, you're done. Thank you. 
Sorry guys, just let me turn that transition off. There we go. It's a pretty amazing sound amplifier. You got the L5, you used that as your main amplifier for everything, right? No, uh, well I use it for, well, I can't, I, I tried gigging it, but unfortunately I just can't, it can't. Five watts is great for doing like jams and like club gigs, but I just can't do it for, okay. for, for like full on function things. The studio stuff is amazing. Um, they also do a head that's got the, um, the, the USB and XLR out, so you can kind of use that for studio work as well. But you could. Uh, awesome. Sith by Magic. Yeah, but the Lionheart gut range goes up to the like a 20, there's a 20 and a 50 watt version of it. Um, yeah. So the 20 watt is, is the one I use, it's 2 by 12, it's more than loud enough. Mm. The kind of deal here is to show the difference between the 1 by 12 combo, because that's the one that most people go for. So the 5, the, the, the Lionheart is the quietest, it's got the lowest amount of compression in the clean channel and in the drive channel, and it's got basically that kind of light blues to crunch to classic rock if you're on the lighter side of things territory. So if you need that bass covered, and it takes pedals incredibly well. Yeah, Just give does. us the dual fusion thing really quickly. Yeah, that's the, that's clean the thing for me where it's at, because there's the clean channel. Yes, yeah. I turned it down, sorry. Kind of, vocal. Yeah. It's yeah. So this this is the, the head version, and this has um, the USB out on the back for reamping or for recording, which is super cool. It's got DI out on it as well, um, so that's that's really really cool. Um, and then the 20 watt version again, two by 12, two different speakers in there. So the Lionheart is is our amp of choice, but obviously if you're a metal guy or if you're into heavier kind of sounds, that's where we move into the GH30. So what we'll do is we'll play we'll play another tune, and then we'll show you the GHR. Well, this is again world exclusive guys this is a brand new product and it's not even released yet so we're really privileged to get to play through it um what happened to my top <laughs> where, uh, where yeah. is it no i just moved it because it was going to uh, okay get in october so i've got this um satriani style thing in b minor if that's all right guys and again we'll do it twice because they're quite short these where is it there it is.
Hey. What? I'm scared sat next to you, Dave. And you never but, bring but for two reasons. First of all, I want to play that again. But for two reasons. First of all, I'm worried you're going to, like, a string's going to snap and crush That's my it. face. Yeah. But secondly, yeah. because you're playing terrifyingly today. OK, let's do it again. I'm uh, just feeling it. I've got to follow Bronze it again. <laughs> yeah, right. So here we go, guys, one more time. So just to remind everybody, I'm playing through the Cub <clears> uh, 12. This is the, basically the 1x12 Cub, the, the most affordable 1x12, all tube amp in Laney's range. Dave's playing through the GH30R, which is brand new, world exclusive, never been shown before. Uh, so you're hearing that for the first time. It sounds ridiculous. It's insane. It's beautiful to play. Phoebe's playing through the Lionheart L5, which is a 1x12, 5 watt combo. And he's running, he's using the clean channel, running the dual fusion in the front. And Dan is playing through the Iron Hearts, and it's the 1x12, and it's the 30? 30 watt version with 6 L6 power tubes. 30 watts. No, the the yeah, guy yeah. today was asking me about amps, the teacher for his son, and he said things from, what did he say? From uh, I think he said from like 30 watts to 150. I was like, 150 watts? That's a heavy amp. Well, yeah, cause, cause he, said, he said he had like a keyboard amp that was like massive amounts of watts, and I was like, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's it's different. different. That's different. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. So it's different. Yeah, yeah. It's different. Okay, guys, one more time starting this time with Dan. Oh, go on, Dan. All right. You're not.
Don't know what's going on there. Stop. Ryan Simmons says he thinks he slipped in an alternate reality where the guitar hour has suddenly gone super high budget. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a comment that you're now playing oboe metal. Oboe of, metal. Oh, trans he's, he's got, he's got you, you, you know the meme, the transcendent meme. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's yeah, like, yeah. Right, exactly. I've now gone to oboe, I've gone to oboe. <laughs> so, let me put this down again, if I can do it. Uh, let's have a look at the GH30. So this, this is totally brand new. Um, it's not even out yet, is it? Nope. Nope. So you guys are getting a, a proper world exclusive here. Keep it secret. Have we done a world exclusive on the guitar before? I don't know. Possibly. I think we might have done Bronze more. Bronze again, he's belly out. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm sorry. Well, why are you not working now? Let's Mina? just do this. Sorry, guys. Do -do 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 a half naked bronze. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh. That's a shot and a half. Phil, Phil. There's only so much gear porn you Put can have on the stream. So, <laughs> it's not, it's, I mean, that's all right. It's all about me. Not quite as good. Right, get so, <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the GH30R. So, so, a lot of you guys will have seen the GH50, which is a 2x12 combo. I'm going to go this side, actually, Dave. So, if you want to just pull your stool that way a touch. Yep. Um, this, guys is the GH30R, and the cool thing about this is it takes the same concept so from the GH50, which is that you can control the amount of output saturation and preamp saturation. So you can think of it as power tube and preamp -pre saturation. Do the action, Dan. <laughs> so what, what Dan's demonstrating there, with a really terrifying shadow, <laughs> is um, basically when you, when you look at this amplifier, before Dave plays anything, Okay, the master there, you've got an output stage. Okay, so you can control, that's all, sort of like a volume. It does give you more volume, but it's controlling the amount of output or power tube saturation. Yeah, how, much, how hard you're hitting the power section, the amp, yeah. So if you then look at channel one, if I can get the focus correct. Okay, there's a drive on channel one. Now, that's slightly different actually to channel one and channel two on this amplifier. Don't think of them as being drive and clean. You can see they both say drive. Yeah. So if you run, and maybe I'll get you to do this first, Dave. Uh -huh. If you run the drive or the preamp section on full, yeah. And then we'll turn the output section down. And what's going to happen here, guys, if you if you run the preamp on full, so that's this. So what we want, dr one. channel one. Channel one, drive on full. It's going to be loud. <coughs> yeah, yeah, turn the output stage down. <laughs> so I don't, don't understand. So before, before you play anything, the reason why this is interesting is because Dave can now push the preamp really hard and get lots of preamp distortion. Yeah. Which is lots of basically preamp section. <laughs> If he runs the drive down and opens up the output section, you get more kind of that more fatter, um, more dynamics, fatter. Yeah. Sound. Which to me sounds better. Yes, <laughs> running the output section sound always sounds better. Yeah. More it's a bit, but it's good that you can balance the two. Like, so if you want a bit more uh, like grease, if you like, when yeah. you're playing lead, you just you boost the drive a little bit on the preamp, but then, you know, you've still got that nice fat gain. So this, that's why I like this design, because you can really dial in, have that distortion that's distorted but clean still. You know, like, I really hate distortion that's really fizzy, and um, where you lose the note definition. In this amp, you can really fine tune that. So now that this is available in a one by 12, it's a smaller combo. Yeah and it enables you to have that control in a portable, very loud, 30 watts is incredibly loud. Um, channel two, I'll just show you channel two really quickly, has a volume control on as well. So what that means is you can run the drive or the, the preamp section really loud, but you can, change, you can control how much of that hits the output stage, yep. which means that you can run the output and the preamp stage really loud, but you can back off the volume to bring the volume down of the, the, the whole amplifier, which is super cool. My guitar's going a bit out of tune, but... So that's uh, just with the volume down and then it... I mean, that, for that kind of Jeff Beck, not that I sound like Jeff Beck, but for that thing that he does where you've got the kind of just enough crunch to give it the sustain. I pick the harder I pick as well the more it breaks up so 
Sorry about the crackling, guys. It's to do with the universal audio. So yeah, I'll just demonstrate. If you pick harder, it breaks up more. When you back the volume off, you've still got that clean top end. Uh, which I quite like. Sometimes you know with amps, you back the volume off on the guitar and the uh, sound goes really dark and dull. That's a guitar as well, though, isn't it? It's, it's the amp design as well. It can uh, affect that. That's what you want out of an amplifier, isn't it? Um, let me just switch back to the other camera guys. So, so, so that's what you want out of an amplifier, really, isn't it? Yeah, so that touch responsiveness really makes it a fun amp to play because um, the harder you attack the amp, the more it sort of responds. But when you want to play gently, their dynamic range is still there. I think with a lot of the higher gain amps, I miss it kind of all turns into a squashed mush. So this amp is. You know, it, you have to fight it to play it. If you're going to play, yeah. if you're going to really play sort of, um, you know, you want it to be, it's not an easy amp to play necessarily, but it's very rewarding, I think. And in terms of where it sits in the range, it's basically um, between the lion heart and the iron heart. So in terms of gain and compression, there's a lot of gain on there, actually. If you push the front end yeah. and you use the volume control to actually hit on channel two, the output section really hard. You can then gauge the amount of output saturation you've got in terms of how much compression, how much fatness you want from the sound. There's a lot of gain on there, and if you stick a boost pedal in the front, you can yeah. get close to kind of metal territory, but it's not really designed for that. It's designed for kind of classic to high gain rock to kind of very dynamic, clean, and lead tone. So it's a very, very versatile amplifier. So in terms of if you need a wide range of sounds, it's got an effects loop on there, DI out and stuff as well. So everything on there, it's, an, it's a speak simulated DI out as well if you want that. Um, if you want a really versatile amplifier, that's really the one to go for. Um, so that's the GH30R and again, you've got your reverb on there, you know, you, everything you need. It's a really high quality digital reverb as well. Um, so I guess we'll do the cub last. Let's, let's talk about the Ironheart a little bit and then we'll play another tune and then we'll talk about the Cub afterwards because the Cub's kind of cool because it sits slightly away from the rest of these because it's mo way more affordable. Um, mm -hmm. Not any of these amps are mega expensive. The one thing I will say really quickly about the Lionheart, which I really, really like, if you're a guy who likes hand-wired boutique amps and you simply insist you won't play anything else, you really ought to, you owe it to yourself to try <coughs> the Lionheart because I used to play really high-end, like $3,000 hand-wired amps, and as much as I loved them, and I loved the guy, I won't name him, but I loved the guy who made them as well, once I tried the Lionheart, I was astounded at that price point. You can get boutique clean tones, really, really amazing. So the, the Ironheart, <coughs> which Dan is playing through, now this is super interesting, because Dan is not a guy <laughs> that you would expect to play through an amp like this, but he sounds staggered. I mean, he sound, it sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it sounds really great. We, we were both saying that this is, oh, we shouldn't probably say this, but that's the best I've ever had an Ironheart sound. It sounds incredible. Oh. So that goes to show Cheers, babe. that this is <laughs> an amp that's way more versatile than you might expect. And just to add some kind of credibility to that as well, I've done jazz gigs with that amp with Martin Miller in Germany. Uh, we've done with that exact amp, that the 1x12, and it sounded incredible, absolutely amazing. Um, and that was just the amp that wasn't mic'd up or anything, so really, really versatile. So I am not 100% sure Dan is ever the kill, used. Is the kill switch? Um, is it? Yeah, yeah. Kill what? So kill switch engage is just. Sort of, oh, right. And you can obviously, you know. Not as in it's got a kill switch feature. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that's what you came out. Shut the fucking again. It's fairly heavy. Kill switch. Oh, yeah. And Mary J. Blige's guitarist will only use that because of the cleans on it. Yeah. Ah. So the cleans, the cleans on that, what we should do is demonstrate the difference. In, we'll do That's the cut separately. But let's demonstrate the, clean, the difference between the cleans. So with Dan, let's start with Dan. So you're on the clean channel? I am. Before you play anything, remember guys, if you play, they won't be able to hear me. So that, the, the Ironheart is completely different from the Lionheart in terms of its clean. 
because I won't bore you with the kind of technical details, but because of the way the Lionheart set up, you get incredible dynamic range and crystal clean boutique style cleans. The Ironheart has tons of punch, is not as dynamic, but really, really cuts in a mix, and also is kind of a more, you'll hear it's slightly more compressed, the clean, the clean sound. So Dan, if you, let's all go, we're playing different guitars, so it's not a particularly fair test, but all, everyone go to their neck pickup. Can we play. all get single coil in the neck? <laughs> so, uh, I can't, but I, right, I can approximate. Okay, okay, so if you play lightly, then hard for me, Dan. Oh. <laughs> Now you would not, if you plugged into something like a Splorn for instance, the clean channel sucks. <laughs> That's only meant for high gain, super kind of ridiculous. We've been having this conversation before, it seems like any anything that I've tried in the past that's been like a high gain amp, the clean has always been a bit like that sounds insane, though. Um, it sounds amazing. That's my favourite noise. What I want you to pay attention to is when... Now, BB has a really dark sound naturally in his nature, but... I'm just dark guy. He's <laughs> a dark dude. I'm a dark don't, dude. Don't, don't know why. Just my, my elbow metal tones. Can you, can, you, can you use your pick now? And if you play lightly, then play hard and dig in with the pick rather than the fingers. Oh, sorry. That's all right. No, that sounded great. Now, if BB does the same... play through the 20 watt as well you've got more headroom so he's breaking okay. up earlier but it's a more I've got a question go on question. so the clean on the iron heart then because one of the things I, I love so much about this is am I gonna clip if I turn it mm. if I, I t no, okay so this is this is absolutely max now like and listen to this there's no drive pedal on here but So for comparison, can we plug into this guitar because this is much, your guitar is really dark sounding. Yeah. So if we plug in here, and I just want to show, do the same test. Do you want me to just him? But like, what I'm going to ask is, can, like, does the, the iron heart clean when it's like... Not in the same way, no. Right. Not in the same way. You, you've got the crunch. It, actually, it's the clean for channel, longer, with, isn't it? With the pre-boost, there's a pre-boost on it, and that will get you into that territory, which right. is a different sound. It's not like a class A boutique kind of sound, which is what you get from the Lionheart. Because that's, yeah, I mean, that's, okay. That's, so that's a real clear difference then in what you're gonna get out of those two one by 12 things then, is that this, uh, this volume, if you, if you just turn it all the way up, will get you into sort of, it's gonna sing. It's like a singing clean tone. Yep. Um, I can't, as I was saying earlier, I can't like, if you take it but, um, above sort of seven, Really, it starts. It starts to then get that warmth and that. You're getting all the harmonics and the distortion, um, which is beautiful. Too. But you know, it's not gonna. You can't do Luther Vandross. <laughs> so can you mute it and, and I'll plug into there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just want to. I'd love to know why your sound is so dark. You know what? Fluty fingers. It must be fingers. It's so a fluty few, <laughs> few on. Yeah. <laughs> So if you drop it to half. Oh yeah, more than that. More or less gain. fun amplifier to play through and uh, the five watt version the only thing I would say is like he said earlier on if you need louder you're going to struggle because the headroom on the clean channel is it's designed so you can push it really hard but um, <laughs> if you if you need more headroom get the 20 watt version okay Oh, I love playing okay, that tune so, so if much. you mute it again I'll unplug play that tune so many times but so the iron heart has got Incredible clean channel, very different to the Lionheart, not boutique -y, but still.
on a van. That's not what you would expect at all. It's easily as good as the other two, but a different sound, okay? Different in terms of how it reacts and dynamics and so on and so forth. But you can hear, when Dan plays it, admittedly, he's a freak when it comes to stuff like that, but it sounds great. Now, freak. <laughs> the other <laughs> If you look to the left-hand side, Dan, there's a pre-boost. If you go to the crunch channel, before you touch the pre-boost, if you go to the crunch channel, Hang on, which you can do on, go on the foot switch. Oh, yeah? I've Should just got, to... I've got lead and rhythm on here. That's a rhythm? Oh, no. Yeah? Okay, now, this is, this is basically still the clean channel, but it's on the rhythm side now, so you're pushing the tubes harder. Now, if you just play for me, do the dynamic thing again. That's now almost where there's an overlap. Is that not...? There is an overlap. Because... But... It's different though, it's not quite a smooth it's not, it's no, not quite a smoother it's not transition. Smoother, yes, exactly. So the, the thing with class A single ended, I, I said I wouldn't do it, but class A single ended amps, that transition from clean to overdrive is incredibly smooth. Mm. Dan is an incredible player, so you, he, he can control it really, really well, especially with his fingers. But what you'll find is with the with the the lion height, you get incredibly smooth transitions with the uh, the iron height. It's not as smooth, but you can get way more gain. Way, way, way more gain. Yeah, so yeah. on that channel, if you now engage the pre-boost, which is, I think uh, that's, you see the boost? On top. Boost. There you go, oh. it's on the foot switch. Oh. Okay, now this is a pre-boost, which you don't get on I'll any of the you. other amplifiers. So this allows you to push the tubes harder. It's not a post-boost, which makes it louder. It's a pre-boost, which gives you more gain. So you see the boost, if, if you could it's dial boost, in, is, I ought to be on. using the other camera here. So if you play, and then BB's gonna dial, dial the boost in. Oh, sorry. Right, now as he's playing, BB's going to dial it out. We can't okay. speak and play at the same time, so we can't do one so. Okay, I'm going to take it out now. Just dial it out slowly. <laughs> Impressive, really. Just play now, yeah, so it's all the way off. All the way off? It's all the way off. It feels like you've, you've got to hit it just that little bit harder to kind of... Remember, guys, we're on the, crunch, the rhythm channel here, so this is, not, this is not the lead channel yet. Now, if you switch to the lead channel... OK, now we're in full-on saturation off. territory. Make sure the boost isn't on. So it's, it is off. OK, so if we start here... We've not, by the way, we've not touched any of the controls on the amplifier yet. Just the pre-boost and we switch channels. Dan's doing all of this just from his fingers and the volume control on the guitar. So if you play now. Right, now to crank the boost. Crank the boost, BB. Crank the boost. Oh. Dan is playing amazing kind of blues and kind of like field licks, but with that guitar it's kind of tricky. Now you've got filthy humbuckers. Can we plug Dave into that, that amp? We can. He's... And then get Dave to play some power chords. <laughs> can play power chords? Yes, I know, but you can play power chords. <laughs> No, it wasn't that. It's because you've got single coil. That was, yeah, it. That was it. And listen to how glassy it sounds as oh. well. You, through all of these amplifiers, you can really hear the guitar. And what I would say is, through the Lionheart, you hear the guitar most. Through the GHR, you hear the guitar. You know, it's, it's more about the amplifier, slightly less about the guitar. With the Ironheart, you can still hear the glassiness of the guitar, but you've got insane amounts of gain going on. Mm. So you can really push things hard. So it's almost we can get a, that cable across the deck. It's uh, always a compromise, isn't it? Because that gain there sounds ridiculous, sounds yeah. awesome. I've never played like that on like, this guitar. I've kind of shocked myself. <laughs> God, pull that lead. <laughs> this guitar's like, who are you? Can I just say how much I'm enjoying we keep Ooh. saying Ironheart and Lion. Lionheart, and I keep Damn. thinking that they're the names of pubs. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Thanks. Obviously, right. there's, there's a I'm little ready. bit of inconsistent. Huh? 
Vocal, uh, vocals up apparently, but it might just vocals be that we're up. talking a bit quietly. Okay, yeah, maybe speak up a bit, guys. Um, <coughs> there's one thing that's not 100% fair in this comparison, which is that the Lionheart is a 5 watt amplifier and the others are much louder. Okay, the Cub, which we'll do last, we'll play one more tune and then I'll do the Cub, is, is I'm in the 15 watt input. So that's slightly different again, but these two are much louder than the Lionheart. So if you had more output stage, you would get a, a, a kind of bigger clean time. But what that does mean is you can crank them a lot, you can crank the Lionheart a lot and get oh, that yeah, tone that he talked about. That amazing kind of touch responsive drive sound. See, I have a question. Like, it seems like in relatively recent years, whether it's to do with practicality or what, but it seems like everyone was like, yeah, get a 100 watt head, two four by 12s, like ridiculous, like more power, more power. And now everyone's kind of going to 30 watts, 40 watts, 50 watts, like, has anything changed yes. in the manufacturing to make the, the those amps like louder? What thirty? No, 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 no. Oh, no. It's just, no. It's just it's stage volume that's come down. It's just, it's just, uh, okay. People yeah, yeah. like you want don't to keep need... hearing for longer, don't they? <laughs> so well, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a beast amp. It just depends what no. you what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. the same, exactly the same principle as what I'm just talking about with the line heart, isn't it? Because I've got this full the, the, the clean channel of this on full, and I'm not losing my hearing, and I'm still getting that amazing you know clean tran that transition to overdrive so so smooth and responsive yeah i'm not deaf it's like it. whereas if you whatever, yeah so if you take cool. a 30 watt amp and you do that on stage you're gonna still it's you're gonna, gonna be incrementally the, louder to exactly get to that yeah. the other thing to understand is that watts isn't is not like a, a scale what? like that wattage what? It's logarithmic, so uh, 50, 100 oh, what, what? watt. It's what, sir? It's a lot. Oh, oh, boy. oh, boy. So, so what, a 50 watt so amp is not half as loud as 100 watt. In fact, it's only a, a, a yeah. few dB. So, so basically, you're lugging around the 100 watt amp. Old man that I am, I'm like, at the end of a gig, got me 4 by 12 and me 100 watt amp. I'm just like, no. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't guys. be bothered with this anymore. You guys, let's, yeah. um, let's do a close up on the... Iron Heart, just so I can show them really quick and then we'll do this comparison with the clean times. Uh, well, we've done that already. Um, what I want you to do, Dave, mm -hmm. is if you can, if you just play some power chords for me, so you probably need to uh, unmute the him or, or oh, sorry, let's flick the standby switch. Well, that's not going to work. Like sometimes you get to that sort of stage and it just gets really like fuzzy or like woolly or like I can't really hear what's going on, but I just kind of want to, I just want to hear that with drums and bass behind it. Like, dum, 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 dum. Uh, yes, an amazing. They're, they're all incredible. I mean, the, the thing is, the the Lionheart in a way is the most versatile because it's got the th effectively three channels and can do so much. Lionheart. Ian, the, Ironheart, the Ironheart. I mean, sorry, so the Ironheart. You're in the wrong pub. Um, but again, if you want that boutique clean tone, really, cool. really boutique, the, the, the Lionheart, I'm getting brain funny, the Lionheart's the one to go for. But if you don't need that much gain, the GH30 is just really fits the bill. So, you know, there's, there's so much variety here, but they all fit in their own space. So you've got the most amount of compression, the most amount of gain on the Ironheart, the least amount of compression, the least amount of gain on the Lionheart, and this bad boy sits in the middle, basically, for you guys. You need versatility, but not that much gain. Okay, so let's play another tune. Let's do it. And so then right, do the if you cub. guys switch leads. I'm back on my... Yeah, yeah, and then we'll do the cub to finish with. Woo! Okay, um, I don't know what I've got here, so this might be something quite alarming that I can't play over. Well, if you can't play over it, what the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> what I mean is it might be a blues or something, <laughs> which should just be disastrous. So let's see, what have we got here? Um, um, Give us some wobbly rock. Okay, there's a there's a blue soul thing. Should we just do that? Ooh, 
Go on then. I don't know what it is. I don't know what key it's in either. You're gonna have to figure out.
You can really hear that when we're playing, the difference between the amps actually really, really clearly. Yeah. Um, okay, so the cub to finish with. Can I entrust BB with the camera? <laughs> because you know how to use it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just Got you BB. might need to autofocus it using the shutter on the front every now and again. Um, so, let's just spin this round. So the cub is designed to be, oh, where am I looking over there? The cub is designed to be the most affordable yeah. entry into tube yeah. amps. And again, it's less than 300 pounds in the UK. Um, so one by 12, very small, very portable, fairly loud. I'm in the 15 watt input Ooh, here. I'm getting my ass. sorry. Do you want to change the camera? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Okay, so there's loads in lane here. So this yeah. is the cub. And as I say, one by 12, very small combo. Um, if I just spin around here, this is set up, I don't know if you can get over the controls. Just watch where you step in so you don't unplug the power. Single channel, okay, we've got 15 watt and a less than one watt input so you can attenuate the power. Reverb, tone, volume, bass, middle, treble, and then here we've got the gain. Okay, now I've got all, there's nothing switched on here at all. Gain is just under halfway, volume is just under halfway, and we get a really nice. <laughs> I don't want any close-ups of my face. So if we crank the game and bring the volume down slightly. small amplifier, bring the gain almost all the way down, volume all the way up. <laughs> kind of style amplifier where you've not got two channels you just run everything you know as open or as closed as you like and then if you stick a pedal in the front end so this is the dual fusion okay on the bridge pickup in between the Lionheart and the GHR, okay? But it's obviously a lot smaller, it's quieter than the GHR as well, more compact, and is very, very affordable, very, very affordable. So let me switch back to the other camera, because now you have a horrible close-up of my face and my glasses. Thanks, Biebs. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, really, really, really cool. Very, very cool amplifier indeed. Very, very affordable, as I say. Just mic'd up with an 757 like the other ones, so what else can you say, really? So. Let's just summarise. So the Lionheart, for you guys who are into blues, you want less compression, you want less overdrive, you just want really high quality boutique style in a portable, you know, kind of package. Good for the studio, good for the bedroom, good for quieter gigs. That's the one you want to go for. If you're into kind of slightly more gain and you really like to control the output section and the preamp distortion as well, which is kind of like... Kind of Van really, Halen really, kind of thing. Really important part of tone. Um, the GH30R is going to be for you. It's not out yet, but it will be very soon. Uh, the 1x12 version of GHR series. Really incredible amplifier, again with DI out and that kind of thing. If you are the guy who requires the ultimate in versatility and you need tons and tons and tons of gain, you want to go for the Iron Heart. If you can't afford any of those because you are very poor and you're a musician, so you probably are poor, um, get the cup. The cup sounds awesome, really, really cool. And again, it's loud enough. Again, all of these are available in 2x12 combos as well. So if you need that little bit more power, a little bit more punch, you can get the 2x12 versions as well. Um, the majority of them, if not all of them, I don't know about the cover available. Yeah, they're available in head form. 
So you've got heads for everything as well. So you, really, really versatile range. You were in uh, the, there's also a one watt input yes. on the cub, isn't there? Um, so. Yep, less than one watt actually. So you can really push the power tubes if you want to. Uh, and just crank everything and get loads of drive. Or if you're in your bedroom and you don't want to crank, it's pretty loud in the room, you can you can do that as well. All right, that's, so. That's a great amp for like the price as well. That's like a, it's kind of unbelievable. It's like a Line 6 Spider mm -hmm. when I, or Flex Tone when yeah, I was. Yeah, exactly. Like, do you know what I mean? Like when I was sort of 16 or something. For that price to get an all tube amp that sounds, it's pretty dynamic as well. your sound tone so dark? It's the thoughts that go through here. <laughs> the final thing we're going to do guys, we're going to set all the amps up with moderate gain. We're going to play the outro theme. I can't remember it, hold on. Um, <laughs> every, every week. week. All those notes that you can play. I just can't remember it. You know all the notes, Tom. All the notes except for the ones we want you to know. <laughs> That's got to be your slogan. Every week, Every week Thomas. Thomas. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Um, but let's set everything up. Just amps, no pedals. No nothing. pedal. Oh, right, uh, okay. Decent amount of gain. Ha ha! <laughs> Before, <laughs> Before we play anything, let's just compare the times. Okay, so only an distortion. Um, and again, what you should hear, if you, if you grab. You grab quite a lot of distortion. distortion. I'll go, and then you do what the, the top line hat does. Okay, so the cub. Are we all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Down? Yeah. Okay, so the what what sounds, chord are we playing? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just We'll do it one at a time. So just play something. So the cub sounds like. This has been a monumental tech. <coughs> I'm not going to use the word nightmare. It's not been a nightmare. It's challenged, challenged my brain. You love it. Massive love it, to get this to work. I hope it's worked at least to some extent. I've had Sorry a great time. time. It's been great. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Sorry about some of the crackles and some of the pauses and stuff like that. Just That's just the fen. nature of live yeah, streaming. Yeah, just the fen. fen's just over there. You, shall I point the camera at Fen? Yeah. Put, put him well, on. We're going to get. We're going to get. You might need to come a bit closer, Fen. Where is he? Where am I there? You got to switch. You got to switch cameras on the old. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. The old doofer. Oh, he's on that one. You could just do a big oh, bomb. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Oh, there check lady. that. Check lady. that moustache out. <laughs> that was incredible. Okay. All right, guys. So let me move this camera out of the way. Let's try not to knock it over. So we'll play the theme tune. I genuinely can't remember it. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Every week. Every week. Maybe I should just do he's a solo. He's soloing this week. All right, guys, so once we've done this, we're going to stop the stream. And uh, thank you so much for joining. Go and buy a Laney amplifier. I know that sounds like the worst advert in the world, but <laughs> seriously, they're amazing. OK, guys, this is going to be very, very loud. Oh. <laughs>